the face mutilated, scarred for life. The cause, leishmania, tiny parasites which can affect the skin or the mucosae in the nose. But even more dangerous is when the parasite attacks the internal organs. This form is called Kalazar. According to the World Health Organization, Kalazar is the second largest parasitic killer after malaria. It's estimated that 300,000 people get infected every year by the bite of an infected sandfly. Officially, 20,000 die from the disease, but the estimated number of unknown cases is much higher. Globally, there are only four drugs available which could save the lives of affected people. But these drugs are becoming increasingly ineffective as the parasite is developing resistance. At the Institute of Tropical Medicine in Antwerp, Belgium, researchers try to understand why these drugs have started to fail and how the parasite has managed to become resistant against these drugs. Jean-Claude de Jardin is the coordinator of the EU-funded project Caladrug R, involving several research groups from Europe, India and Nepal. We found that the parasite was very clever because it, uh, it is not only resisting itself to the drug, it also manipulates the host cell, which is a, 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 the macrophage, to uh, get rid uh, of the drug. Really a very clever uh, parasite. The scientists are developing simple clinical tools with the aim to use them in the high-risk areas on the Indian subcontinent. The tools will ensure the surveillance of parasites and monitoring of the effectiveness of drugs and the monitoring of infection and therefore the spread of drug resistance. Antimony containing drugs once worked very well against Kalazar, but they've now lost their power. Now scientists use these drugs to learn more about the parasite's behavior. In experiments with infected hamsters, the parasite is exposed to a constantly increased dosage of antimony. After a few days of treatment, the parasite is extracted from the animal. This process allows researchers to understand how the parasite can adapt to the drug within its host. Another goal of this project is the identification of the molecular and cellular mechanisms underlying parasite drug resistance. This will help the scientists to develop new drugs or vaccines against leishmaniasis. As the drug-resistant parasites become more widespread, the treatment against this forgotten disease becomes increasingly difficult and sometimes impossible. Now, only the prevention of sandfly bites or new innovative research could help to regain control against this deadly disease.